Let's run the Flux Tools local. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? Today, Flux has released their new tools, which includes in painting, Redux, which is a variation, and also Kenny and Depth. And I want to show you how to run everything local. Let's get started. First, let's have a look at their website. And here you have the introduction where you can read about the different models and what they do. They have examples here. The fill in is basically in painting as a model. Down here, you have Kenny in depth and it's working just as you would expect it but this is not a control net this is a LoRa that is applied to the image and then below that we have here the redox model which where you can see here you input an image and it will create variations of that image for you so let's first look at the depth and the Kenny LoRa so first of all you need to download these LoRa's I will link that below the video and before you can download them you have to click an agreement and then the download can start you put both of them into your LoRa folder into the models folder and here you have the Kenny model same thing just download that into your LoRa folder then next step you want to go here to the example workflows that are from Comfy Anonymous this is of course for Comfy UI because Comfy UI always gets the cool stuff first you download this shark image here and then you can drag that into into Comfy UI where this will load the workflow for you. However, very important detail here, you need to have the updated version of Comfy UI. For that, down on the right side, you have here the manager. Click on that. When that opens up, you click here on update all let that run through so check out your cmd window and then when it's finished restart conf ui and drag in the shark image this is basically what the workflow looks like i made some additions to improve it a little bit so first of all let's look here on the left side for the models we are using in my case i'm using the flux one depth fb8 model and below that you can see the weight that i'm using with that and then over here, we have the dual clip loader. You can see clip L and the T5XXL FB16 model with a type flux. Then when we go over here, we have our LoRa loader. In this case, I'm running the Flux1 depth LoRa. You can see that the weight that I'm using is at 7.5. Below that, you can also see the flux guidance, and this is a 10, which is the correct value in this case. It's strange, but it does work. And all of that goes here into this part. Well, the model goes into the case sampler, but you see that the clip goes into the VAE and the pixel goes into this, which is applying everything to your image. And of course, the pixel here has in this case to be a depth image. So you want to load that image. You have to convert that to a pre-processed image of course so depth anything in this case is the note I'm using here and this is giving me that image over here now for the K sampler I want to show you that I changed the settings here in the original workflow that you download the steps are 20 with Euler and then normal as a scheduler I'm using 35 steps with Euler and simple instead of that I get better results for myself but play around with the settings and see what you get this is the image result which is pretty nice but also like low resolution and a little bit low detail so over here I'm using the ultimate SD upscale with the NMKD super scale model and I'm getting this as a result which already looks nicer I would say and of course has a higher resolution now if you want to do all of that for the Kenny model everything here is the same but of course we have here two different changes first of all when we go to the LoRa we're using the Kenny LoRa again I'm setting this to 0.75 instead of 1 and getting better results with that and then here we have our image input. In this case, I'm using a portrait, which of course we're going to send to the Kenny node. In this case, I'm using Kenny Edge. So you can use any other Kenny node you want. And of course, you have to connect this image output to the input here for the pixel so that that can then run into the case sampler. And over here, you can see the result I'm getting. It has the exact same composition in here 
with in this case a alleyway in the background as I specified in the prompt and then again we are upscaling this and here we have the finished result now again with portraits often when you upscale it with flux it can look a little bit plasticky from the face but still the composition is there and the result looks pretty nice Next, we're going to look at the Redux process. For that, you need this file here, only 129 megabytes. This is not a LoRa in that case. This goes into your models folder and in there into the style models folder, not into the LoRa folder. And then also you need a clip file that goes into the clip vision folder. Pretty important. That is a model provided by Google. On the official page it says sick clip but i think they mean sick lip so i only found that model here patch 14 and download that into that folder then again you want to go to the page with the example workflows here you see redux below that you have this image download the image and drag it into conf ui this is going to open this workflow here don't worry we don't have to do anything with that workflow other than loading the models and loading the image there is no prompt or anything so up here in that blue area here you see is where we load our clip model if you don't see it you can click here on refresh to load the models below that here we have our image in this case i'm using that image that i created from another of my tutorials and then here we have the load style model where we have the redox model and of course also down here we have our flux one depth fp8 model you can also just use the depth model if you want to and down below here our dual clip loader with these two models after that just press the render button or the q button and this will create for you a variation as you can see it works pretty well it has all of the details in there but it's a different variation of the same image you can of course run this as often as you want and get slight variations of that same image which is pretty cool next we're gonna check out the fill model and here we are having some bad luck because you need to download the full flux model where the fill is baked into it has almost 24 gigabytes and that of course goes into your diffusion model folder and then again we're going over to the example workflows where you can see here the fill in painting you have down here this image download that to your drive and drag it into conf ui so here we have the workflow it's very simple and when we zoom in here you can see there i have my fill model guidance 30 pretty crazy but it works and of course over here we have the dual clip loader with these two models nothing special in that case and i just used the image down here that we are loading that is also from the sample page you right click on that image down here you select open in mask editor this is opening up the mask editor where you can then simply mask out that area you have down here the thickness and the opacity of your mask so just mask out the part that you want to replace in the image and when you're done with that you click here on save to note and then you simply run it that's all you have to do and here as you can see we have my result where i wanted to have a flower dress she has a lot longer hair but it looks pretty nice and you can see the in painting works very well so some pretty fantastic models most of them small size run pretty smoothly easy to understand workflow check them out leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching bye